Select, because guess what? We're going to jump directly into Champion Select to start things off here. HK on your blue side, Nova on the red. I wonder what Nova Esports is going to pick this time, because they surprised us with the very first Kalista top in the PCS, and Rocky did phenomenally in that pick, just rendering a lot of top laners, or their, his opposing top laner, sort of having a difficult time. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Uh, Zoe going to be banned out here by the side of Nova, and there we go. Early span, pretty common. And we should also mention we have shifted over to patch 10.6 now, so there has been a couple changes when it comes to uh, some of the priority, but still, Aphelios, you got to ban it out if you're on red. We're not going to be in the first round robin anymore where Aphelios has been left out a couple of times, and now, I, most of the time when people face against Nova, I think a lot of them would focus their bans on G4 and Rocky in particular, and that's I think, would be the occurring trend this time around. Um, now that's set, Orn is going to be open. Let's see whether or not HK decides to take this one. All right, so Misfortune is going to be the first lock-in for HK. Eminem is going to have that, I believe. He's currently sitting on like six or seven games on the champion at this point. He loves playing it when it is available. Uh, but like we mentioned, Senna is up here, and we'll see whether or not Mixed Cross is going to be comfortable on the champion. It will be locked in. Senna did have a, a couple of nerfs already um, at this patch, so we'll see whether or not that will still be effective. It seems to me they're going for the standard Senna paired with a tank, tanky uh, support, and looks like they're going to opt for a Jarvan 4 this time around for Ryan. Interesting, though, they're not going to go ahead and pick up the Kench immediately alongside the Senna, so that might be the opportunity here for Wing to actually go ahead and pick that one up and then provide a bunch of safety for Eminem on the Misfortune as the Sejuani is going to get locked in. It's interesting. It seems to me HKA is shifting a little bit because we've seen Holo play Rek'Sai a couple of times and as well as Sejuani, so I'm going to see... Let's see where the damage is going to be coming from for the mid lane, for Jimmy and most especially if they want to make this work. Um, for Nova Esports, they're going to settle with this pick uh, on the Jarvan, at least denying some sort of Cataclysm combo with the bullet time. So that's going to be something for Nova Esports. That's going to be a Syndra hover. Okay, so they might want to go for this Syndra, it assumes. No, there you go. Silas what? in the mid lane for G4. I think this could potentially be the... Let me check. This is not the first time G4 is going to be using this, but Jimian has played this. Whenever he grabs uh, a Silas, he's been performing really, really well, so I think that's a good deny and setting up for a really nice dive and a, a, pro a probable uh, snowball-y Silas, if you will. All right, so let's see, though. Irelia is going to be banned out. Here on the side of Nova, Rocky has actually picked up the champion a couple times. Still... I find it interesting from Nova that they have fully shifted over their style of draft to really just try and get Mixed Cross or get G4 exactly what they want. Uh, previously, we've seen if the Renekton's left open, they'll go ahead and lock that in immediately for Rocky. Uh, this time, though, it looks like they're going to maybe try and save that counter pick for him in the top lane so he can try and snowball the map against 3Z. That's the thing. It's been quite an interesting uh, strategy for I think all of the teams, especially when they go blue side. Um, they get the early Rift Herald and then funnel all the gold towards their top lane, especially early game champions such as Renekton. And if they do lock that in, that could be the potential plan for Nova Esports. Um, whoa, oh, okay. okay. They do lock this in. This oh, is a boy. shift. Alright, so we got ourselves the Maokai. Uh, and especially if that's going over to Rocky in the top lane, it could be a Maokai mid. We have seen it a couple times in other regions. Uh, True. But interesting that they've actually shown it immediately instead of, you know, opting in for the counter pick like we mentioned because they do have red side. So now you're kind of counter picking, I guess, the support if you really want to. The Kench is still open. Uh, meanwhile, though, for HKA, it's going to be the Gangplank as well as the Cassidy. Okay, so this is not going to be our first Kassadin, but for Jimian, though, this is his first Kassadin pick for himself. So I'm excited to see this performance. As oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy. Okay, so it's a Senna support. Oh, wait, no. Senna support Maokai bot? It could be. Let's see how they, let's see how they shift around. It could be, you know... Um, Best couple down in bot lane, that might be oh, the plan. True. It could be just uh -huh. a traditional Senna support, or it could be this Lucian top lane. Like you mentioned, 
it's going to be a Maokai support. It works. We've seen a couple of times uh, Vayne top. Like, it, it, I mean, it replaces a little bit. Like, you don't have the Kalista top, but it still works well against, you know, 3ZR, especially melee top laners in general. And for the bottom lane, you don't have a Tom Kent. That's totally fine because Maokai works similarly. You have a tanky support and easy route and all the CC in the world. This is going to be an explosive team fight for Nova Esports. I like the shift though. I like that Nova are trying to try something different, especially in a game that they have to win. Simply losing this one would allow Hong Kong Attitude to have the 2-0 against them overall when it comes to the head-to-head, -head, and especially with so little games remaining in the regular season of spring, you have to take every game, especially when there's only three or four left. A little bit worried, but at the same time, I am looking forward to this. This is the style of Nova Esports. They've surprised us many times before with their draft, and here they go again. <laughs> well, let's go ahead, float on into the rift to start things off here for our first game of Week 5. For Nova Esports, it's definitely going to be sort of the same, especially that you have Lucian at the top with Rocky. And the, especially when this Maokai joins the team fight, a lot of dragon control with the saplings too. I am, I am looking forward to them being grouped as fives for sure. <laughs> you just like those big <laughs> team fights. That's what you're aiming for. I do. Oh, we'll have to see. This time around, though, Rocky, we've seen him on a Callista before. Worked very well for Nova, was able to get ahead in lane. This time around, though, I, I guess I would like to say a Gangplank can trade back with you a little bit more effectively than what an Orn could into a ranged matchup. Uh, but this time, again, he's going to have to step up to the table, and I want to see whether or not Ryan pays a lot of visits toward the top side of the map. Is it maybe looks up here that Nova's looking for a little bit of an invade. They will get spotted out on award, though, instantly. Yeah, they have really good level one, too, if you think about it, especially when Maokai gets the easy route. It's one of the most reliable, I suppose, in terms of CC. Um, and now, yeah, you're right. For Rocky, I think it, it, think it boils down to how it's going to be very difficult early game. Like, I imagine how level two is going to be extra tough for um, 3Z at top side. Um, and when comes level three, too, everything's going to be chained down. So I assume Rocky would want to get that initial damage to prevent something up, to prevent Hollow from being extra aggressive at top. And you saw there, Nova still were able to go for that straight invade. So Hollow's going to be up toward the top side of the map, I guess, early on. We'll see whether or not he tries to go for an invade himself into the Jarvan as Ryan just passed all the way back to his blue buff, uh, playing a little bit more conservatively, maybe trying to focus toward bot side. Absolutely, and that could be the initial plan, especially that you, you know, wing um, w on the Thresh would really, really help secure all of these kills or probably burn Flash. Ryan? Ryan looking for it. It's just appearing in the lane here, so just wants to help push this in possibly for G4 as uh, G4 still has yet to burn any of his Corrupting Pot and a lot of pressure here from Ryan early on. I really like this because he just wanted to get that level 3 in the mid lane so that he can gank bot. This is very, very smart. This is this could be a four man dive. Uh, they do see now both members are going to appear. Wing and Eminem have decided they want to stay. The wave's going to get proxied is now Nova. Advance forward. The root is going to be there. It's a teleport, but it's way too late as Nova are able to find themselves first blood. Pop, though, over toward the side. Has to escape away from Hollow. Able to get to safety. There's the double up from Jimmy. It's not enough, though, as now Nova goes back on for the re engage. Ryan almost underneath the tower. Flash over from G4, and Ryan will find himself a kill. That was beautiful. That was clean coming from Nova. And HKA, despite having those teleports on, it didn't really matter as Nova got two kills after that dive. It was massive. Let's go ahead and take another look, though, here. And this is this is completely different from Nova. They've never been a team to go for a four-man dive in box. This is exactly, yeah, that is the first time we've seen Nova Esports do this kind of maneuver where... Um, instead of clearing out your red and then probably gank top, it's not the case anymore. They've focused, they've shifted, they've changed towards bot side, especially getting that level three first in the mid lane so that you go back to bot. And, and especially G4 had priority too, so that was just clean and calculated. I'm 
here we go, though. HK might be looking for a return. G4 going to get stunned up here, and that's an easy cleanup for Jimian as uh, the Kassadin will find its first kill here. So maybe a little too greedy of G4 to try and stay in the lane. A little bit too greedy, and as well as uh, there was not any vision towards that river portion of the map, and G4 not having Flash already used it in the earlier engagement. Then it's going to be Hollow getting that kill, at least, after all that. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, that's one of the plus sides of having a cast it in. You can always apply the Sejuani uh, passive, the A passive from the ability. So it was an easy stun there as uh, Nova. Still, though, though, giving up the kill to G on G4. It's still a 1.5 thousand gold lead. And you already see Rocky starting to snowball up here in the top lane. It looks like game plan so far has been going the way Nova was intended. Exactly. Um, I, because of, you know, locking in that gangplank, uh, I feel like in terms of kill pressure, I, I for sure Hollow would want to just shift either mid lane or bot lane especially. It's going to be a little bit difficult to catch Illusion, especially early on um, with Flash and with a dash as well. Now Ryan can keep doing this, I suppose. There's no vision. Seems to be the plan. Just repeat, uh -huh. r r rinse and repeat at this point. Want to try and apply more pressure again. Look at this. They're going once again. There's even a TP coming out from Rocky at this point. He wants to join in on the what? kill. And it's a five-man dive, and no one goes down on Nova. Pop. What? Oh, he gets taken out there as Holo comes to the party a little bit late. But still, where has this Nova team been this entire split? It's... Again, I, I guess it's about that confidence and how they're just aiming and shifted and learned a lot in the first round, Robin. That was clean. Even normally for man dive, they would be satisfied. But they chime in Rocky. They involve Rocky as well. And I suppose it's mainly because he will not get any kills in at the top side of the map. So you put him there. You get him early through that bot lane teleport. And it works well for Nova Esports. And there we go, Nova. They do trade again, one for one, but it is again a slight little advantage in their favor. As uh, Rocky goes back up toward that top lane, cleared out 3Z, had no teleport to even answer as he used it to get him back into lane just a minute before. And still two to four in favor of Nova, now cresting toward a 2,000 gold lead. They're not even giving HKA a break. Normally at this time, either if there's no kills, that would have been either a dragon take already by either of the teams. But now that we see Nova has shifted towards this bottom lane and uh, stalling Eminem's growth in the Misfortune, again, it's just quite easy to land or to secure a route through a Maokai, and that enables the dive even more. And when you take a look back, like I mentioned, to how important it is to actually take home the victory against HKA, Nova have already come out swinging in the matchup, especially. They lose this one. There is a harsh reality where they may not be able to make it into playoffs. It might become, you know, a battle between them and Liab, who can drop the least amount of games going in toward the end of the season. But for how the way Nova's playing, I think they've got to be pretty comfortable, uh, you know, trying to step up here. Holo did get level six. Ro Ryan got to be a little bit careful there. Probably a little bit worried about, you know, the missing bot lane of Nova Esports. If HKA pulled the trigger, um, they could suffer a potential collapse coming from Pop and Mixed Cross. And right now, I feel like Nova. I think this is. Uh, I think this is the first time in a while they're gonna have a really nice early laning phase. Oh, here we go. G four okay. just invading, helping out Ryan secure the blue, and Hollow's not gonna have that available to him. And likely that also means Jimian won't have his own blue buff on the Cassidy. As Nova might be looking to position themselves toward top side, but a ward from three Z will keep him safe. Yeah, that's a good deny actually coming from Nova Esports. It's a Especially as a Cassidy, you'll be very amount of hungry at the early game. Um, that is going to be a nice catch from Nova. And uh, basically, Nova's everywhere, really. This was the game plan of from Ryan way, way back when they faced AHQ. And it seems to be working, especially now that they're against HKA. Look at this. He got the Sejuani trying to path up, but Rocky ended up having a ward already down in the far brush. So the Lucian will stay safe. This does allow Ryan some time to actually position himself. Going to sweep out for a ward. Let's see now, though. 
Rocky wants to oh. push up. They are going to see. Things are coming out. Looks like Hollow's just going to side. All right, 3Z, I'd rather leave instead of try and fight this. As G4 was also looking for a roam. Yeah, HKA again, very, very careful. And especially, I think they already sense that Hollow went back to base. This means that the Rift Herald is going to be open for the taking. No threats again. Everyone has priority. Even, even bot lane has moved towards top side. And at this point, Nova has full control at the moment. Yeah, because with all that pressure that they applied early on, unfortunately, Hollow tried to contest a couple of the dives and it didn't go in his favor. He wasn't able to get anything up towards the top side. 3Z, though, ends up going to be the main victim here at this point. It's Micross also nearby. It's going to be another route, and it's a chain CC of this combo. You cannot escape the Maokai or the Senna. This is going to be very painful for, for HKA. At this point, you are sort of boosting the Senna uh, into a rapid growth. And at this point with Pop as well, again, you did, you did mention, it's going to be very important coming into these team fights with the stun lock. Yeah, let's take another look here. Unfortunately, 3Z, he's got oranges, but he only has one orange. One orange and Mixed Cross will get that easy kill, not letting 3Z escape at the top side, especially your gang flank as well. Uh, not a lot you can do after the after the scurvy and that's gonna be first tower going to nova esports full control i like this full control it's gonna be a teleport from jimin to get back into the mid lane at least and try and contain g4 but again first tower of the game going over to nova you got mix cross and pop with multiple kills 100 percent kill participation for mix cross great start for him himself rocky still has a small little cs advantage as well as a kill for his own and now 3Z's stuck in this side lane, having to just try and clear and farm back up and scale to late, because uh, he's only halfway toward his Trinity Force at this point. So this Gangplank is going to have a massive impact on the map, only maybe a little bit of a slow and damage coming out from his ultimate for the rest of the fights. During all this, though, Hong Kong Attitude was able to secure the first dragon of the game. Indeed, and uh, this is a little bit reminiscent of what we've seen in their first encounter against each other with Nova and HKA. Nova getting the early lead, but this is a different Nova. This is extra aggressive with an interesting draft, with a confident draft at that. Um, but at the same time, remember that was HKA's win. It was Nova Esports that didn't get to finish the game in time. And if you see the Cassidy, if you see the Gangplank, misfortune, those are things. Those are, like, I wouldn't say taking time bombs, but this could be another dive. Looking for another dive here. It's not uh -huh. going to connect. His wing was fishing for a hook over toward the side. So Nova, though they were confident early, a little bit of respect there. That does allow 3Z, though, up in this top lane to get the sheen down, get the procs onto the tower, and get some plates back into his pocket to get some gold. And meanwhile, I think that's going to be just a teleport to go back to lane. Uh, but yeah, you're right. A lot of respect still uh, as a threat. Level 6 Thresh already, there's the box. It's a good way to deny. It's See? scary. Nova are just, again, not <laughs> letting go of the pressure here. It does finally cease as the bot lane of Hong Kong Attitude came on over. So there had to be a little bit of respect shown there by Nova. Still, 12 and a half minutes so far into their first game of week five. We're going to have an Infernal coming up in about two and a half minutes so far. You're going to have the first items, though, start coming online for uh, multiple members of Nova. Yep, uh, we see uh, Rocky on the Bork already, so I think he's going to be a little bit more confident coming into these uh, fights or perhaps duels or dives. Uh, meanwhile, also the Proto Belt completed uh, for G4. And uh, the Umbral Gla Glaive for Mix Cross as well. So that's going to add a little bit more power for Nova when they start a couple of these fights. But there's no objectives to take for now. Most likely the buffs of HKA, which they're doing it again. Again? Pretty much off spawn, even with the control <laughs> ward there from HKA. Can't really do a whole lot. It's Ryan's going to come over toward the side. He also got Rocky. 3Z's got to be a little bit careful. He could be engaged upon here as there you go. Buff goes on over to G4, and that's another blue buff denied away from this Cassidy. That's the second blue buff uh, denied away from Jimian, and the timing is just perfect. Every single time Holo will not be around that blue buff, the timing was just perfect. He just went back to base. Meanwhile, we see Mixed Cross rotating here at mid lane with the rest of the uh, bot lane. Looks like that's going to be a swap as the turret plates will fall. Yeah, 
we see their turret plates. 1,200 gold secured by Nova in the first 14 minutes of the game. We're also going to have Infernal in about a minute 20. You already see from the side of Pop. He wants to try and push in. G4 wants to get priority down in this bot lane. And that should give control back over to Nova as there's not going to be a Rift Herald on the other side of the map to contest. So they're going to focus all their resources in trying to take this Infernal Drake back from HK. Indeed, uh, HKA managed to exchange something earlier, but now that they don't have to worry about topside anymore with 3Z, uh, with 3Z's lane already out in the open, and therefore Nova Esports will definitely have more control over the bot side. Yeah. You dive. Nova's looking <laughs> for it. Ryan's coming nearby, but it looks like Jimin is going to have to concede the tower. Is that's going to be the second one of the game secured by Nova, increasing their gold lead to now 4,000 over HKA. At only 15 minutes, by the way, you can take a look at that gold graph, has ever increasingly in favor of Nova so far. An insane change of early game pace coming out from it, especially considering last week as well, we saw a little hint of this coming out from Ryan against AHQ, against Kongya, when he was on the Sejuani into the Jarvan. This time around, it looks like they've started to involve the rest of the team, and they're starting to take a bit of the playbook we've seen from, say, the Dragons, where they were able to take down their opponents really easily by getting an insane gold lead early on. I agree. I really love that setup, one where they've grown a lot as a team, focusing more on Rocky getting ahead. Okay, Rocky. It's just gonna dodge the prison from Hollow. Um, but yeah, you're right. They've managed to improve a lot, involving more on Mixed Cross, especially Mixed Cross coming into the split at the beginning of PCS. I think we were expecting a lot, and he did underperform, but he's he's been shining um, in a couple of games as we proceeded to the round, uh, the second round Robin, and even getting MVP as well. So, in terms of improvement, really, really loving uh, mixed cross performance so far. And I think that you, overall, you got to be pretty happy with now the changes we've started to see in the team, especially the morale and the first two weeks. You know, we we saw the players after a couple of their games back over in the studio. There were some frowns, there was some frustration, um, especially actually going over to the house the other day to help set up with all the, uh, the modifications when we moved to an online broadcast, uh, as well as having them play remotely. Uh, I felt like there was a an attitude swing, a bit of a change of pace, which is really nice to see out of this team, which, uh, you know, G4 Rocky, they have a history of, you know, having struggles outside of the game. This time around, it looks like a certain change in their favors. They're also able to secure the Rift Herald. And a lot of the Nova Esports fans will definitely be happy seeing this um, on this team. And while it dip okay, that's just going to be catching that minion. Uh, meanwhile, though, Ryan is just going to be clearing out his Raptors. And uh, this is going to be the swap as Mix Cross, so the bot lane will be settling for mid. And now Jimmy is on guard duty for G4. Yeah, G4 is still in that side lane. Also has himself a bullet time, but four members of Nova with Rift Herald can crack open this tower. And again, not waiting for it. Instantly want to get Shelly 2 onto the map. That's going to be bullet time coming out from the misfortune. Still, it does land. Hook is also going to be there. Glacial Prison down, but there it is. Calling over from Rocky into another bullet time from G4. Cataclysm came down from Ryan. He wasn't able to get them in the right position, though. And neither side will lose a member, but in the end, Nova are able to crack open the final first tier tower on the map. Nova Esports will definitely be happy about that. And uh, HKA, despite burning a lot of. Uh, of ults, I don't think it really did much as Nova has uh, executed that perfectly for themselves. Even have a lot of ward coverage too on that river, or uh, actually around the mid lane, and I think that's that really enabled them to be more confident in taking this. And again, uh, HKA will be able to uh, watch their structures fall. And at this point, the question is whether or not Nova Esports can finish this game in time. And on top of that too, whether or not, like you mentioned, can they finish the game on time? Because for HK, you got to have to bring it back a little bit. They have the cast and that's looking to scale. You have a misfortune that's going to have a ridiculous ultimate later the game goes with the crit, as well as a GP that's going to continually scale as we get later and later into the game. So like you mentioned, a little bit of a timer for Nova when it comes to how soon they need to end this before HK start scaling back up and hitting their spikes. 
exactly. And that was what happened um, in the first game of Nova Esports and HK. What they weren't able to finish the game in time. Um, but it seems to me they're a little bit more extra aggressive and a little bit more extra confident now. And they've been grouping as fives as early and not necessarily the two, the, the duo that we've seen, that we've been seeing rather with Ryan and Rocky, or sometimes you throw G4 in and some of the engages. No, it's more of these grouped up fives that they're more confident in taking these engages. And it's really, really nice to watch. And now the next one would be either waiting for the next objective and bait out a fight from HKA. Yeah, because you also, uh, an important one here for Pop on Nova's side, he's got the Righteous Glory now completed, so he can act as the primary engage pretty much non-stop for the team. You still see Rocky in the side lane trying to pressure in. Going to have, uh, I believe he's going to be going into the Essence Reaver next, so a little bit of crit chance is going to be there. A little bit of the crit strikes coming in as forced to use the Cannon Barrage on the side of Hong Kong Attitude just to clear that wave as uh, Cloud Drake will be spawning in 40 seconds. Yeah, I think that's the best part about Nova Esports' composition. If the engage coming from Pop doesn't work, you have G4 to either steal an, an important ultimate. I guess it would be the Sejuani ult that would really uh, try to engage a fight if all things fail uh, on Pop side. See three members down bot side. HK, they're going to try and reply with four of their own. Hook is going to land, but Ryan able to just add a little bit more distance there with the flag drag. So Hong Kong Attitude cannot go for the play as saw G4 was looking to maybe try and steal away the blue buff, but Jimnian was already there as they're going to trade Control Ward for Control Ward. At least uh, Jimin getting his uh, his buff, but uh, G4 right now does have Lich Bane, so that's going to be extra painful uh, once Nova goes on in an all-in. And right now it's more of... If HK wants to play at this sort of stage in the game where they are not exactly prepped yet in terms of damage, especially we're looking towards Cassidy and, you know, 3Z scaling for later, a key bullet time will really try to slow and slow Nova or scare Nova off to reset and try again. I think that would be the key right now, especially if you time it with a really nice cam barrage. They're just staring at each other. See, they're both staring at each other. <laughs> Rocky's going to be the first one to show. Is Looks like 3Z is just going to... Let's see, does he actually... He has got the cannon. He's got the barrel. No mana. Not enough mana, I guess. But... Well, for Rocky, Rocky would be pretty... Mm -hmm. uh, he would only get one combo off, and then he'd be sad. Yeah. 3Z lets him live. We want top lane. G4 getting aggressive, but Jimmyan does have that rift walk available and is closing in on the third point when it comes to his ultimate. So once he hits that level 16, I feel like HK will start feeling a lot more comfortable going for fights. Exactly. And uh, right now, I think the option for Nova Esports, if they want to speed the game a little bit, although lurking around, then that's the beautiful thing you can have. You can use your saplings to scout for any potential lurkers on HKA side. Um, but yeah, imagine, like, I did mention the Glacial Prison to to combo with an Engage from Nova Esports. You can also probably steal 3Z's Cannon Barrage so that the Maokai ult can land better. Um, it's really good for, uh, against these choke points, I suppose, the entrance towards that Baron buff. And I think that is the plan in mind. That's here why they're go. lurking around. Going spooky, and over the wall, here they come. Hollow trying to escape, but he's just going to get taken down very low. Bullet time, but Eminem does not have enough damage. Cataclysm going to come out. Holo has to escape. They use so much, but finally they're able to find another target as Wing is going to sacrifice himself for his jungle. And Holo has to go back to the base. That's going to be Nova going directly over to the Baron. Best part, you already uh, you already sort of baited out the bullet time, so that's going to be an important ultimate in Baron takes. And that is just the perfect situation for Nova Esports. And not only that, Holo does not have Flash, so it'll be really tricky if he wants to try and attempt a, a steal. Oh, well, here we go. Which? It doesn't go in their favor. Nova's able to secure it. Now 3Z's trying to run for his life. G4 trying to hunt him down. Jimmy, you know, able to take down Pop. It's gonna be a one for one. They take down one Baron buff, buff on the side of Nova. But here we go, Collapse is there. G4 wants to jump on it. G4, G4? what are you trying to do there, bud? He's got no help. His cool, oh, his ultimate was on cooldown. 
I'm not sure what the plan was there, but this is starting to look a little bit scary. The flash play coming out into the hook, and Mixed Cross is going to get taken on down. Jimmy now on the hunt, looking to add on to the kill totals as Ryan has to back off. The Ignite being used already. Rocky trying to kite back, but here comes the Sejuani over toward the side. It's going to be another flash jumping over toward the side. It's a shutdown for Jimmy, and he's going to look for a double kill underneath the tower. Ryan, though, able to survive what? for only a second longer as the double kill finally goes over the castle. It in. And just like the first matchup we saw between HK and Nova, it starts crumbling in their own hands. Jimin is 6 0 right now, and that's going to be very scary. He's already scary now. We've already got the stacks on his mana and Archangel staff, and he's just going to be. I want to see this replay again because I never got to catch what happened with. Bullet time already being baited out. A lot of people, a lot of people from Nova are quite low already, but the collapse was actually pretty good from Nova Esports. I suppose it's them being a little bit more separated. Yeah, um, as G4, I think it started with G4 trying to do a pincer. Yeah, G4 comes over to the side, but uh, Bud, uh, without an ultimate to steal, or without the ability to steal an ultimate, I think he was hoping he could get a Sejuani ultimate. But other than that, and then uh, at this point, Nova just stayed for too long. I think was, he was banking on either the in the lifesteal coming from a combo. Uh, probably that's all I can think of at the moment. Uh, but since everyone was going down one by one, it wasn't exactly the perfect scenario for Nova Esports. And basically, especially if you have a Cassidy on your side, it's cleanup is quite easy. So like that, unfortunately for Nova, the Varen buff will disappear as fast as they got it. It's going to be third dragon for them possibly here is now in bot side they're going to go ahead and just jump immediately onto 3z four members able to clean up the gang flank meanwhile top side though tower was taken by the cast in but nova looking for this tier two getting that tier two that's still 30 seconds on the clock for uh 3z to respawn and but that's going to be the third dragon for nova esports at the time Jimmy's not so Freezy does have to wow Jimmy's with that, sure, they get the second tier tower. Jimmy, no. He's going to continue pushing. He's got a big wave. G4 is only going to start the back now. He's got teleport, but that Kassin gets more gold into his pocket. And of course, he's gone Soul Stealer. Every Kassin in this bloody league loves going Soul Stealer. As, uh, let's take another look here as uh, 3Z just getting caught in. Yeah, Righteous Glory activated. Baboon pop with all the sun locks in the world coming from Nova gonna be an easy cleanup for them but what is ex i feel like hk really did the really nice deal up at top getting two towers after that as well at top side so nova should be very careful when the wave starts building at that area and for nova we talked about a early team now starting to show its form looking to be aggressive go for all these dives they're gonna have cloud soul in about four minutes if they're able to continue the pressure. For them, it helps out. You get, again, a bunch of cooldown reduction now onto that Maokai ultimate, which is always great to have. That's always acting as your prime engage. Oop. G4, looking to just jump on top of 3Z. Going to actually steal away the ultimate. Ryan's also coming over towards the side. Cataclysm going to come on down without Flash. Unfortunately, 3Z has nowhere left to run. Lantern's there, but it's just a little bit too late. They're able to collapse there on the Pyre. And with that, I think it's going into kills two objectives, kills two structures, and they still have to worry about Jimmy and split pushing somewhere in the map. And now because of the immense pressure at top side, Jimmy is forced to go back as well as Hollow. Yeah, able to get that pressure, at least for the second tier tower, but unfortunately not able to get much damage as Nova. Simple. Just go lane to lane, take second tier towers, as well as G4 stealing away the Gangplank ultimate. Was able to use that to slow down HK as they're not able to respawn. And that is going to be a clean siege coming from Nova Esports. And now they're going to be a little bit busy trying to push the wave at bot side. Let's take a look at this again. It's just very sneaky, basically, coming from Nova. I don't think there was any vision at all for HK to see the path that Ryan took to go into that lane. Um, and therefore, I think they can rinse and repeat this whenever 3Z tries to push the wave since he's the most vulnerable, aside from Eminem. Um, Jimmy, of course, you can't really catch a Cassidy, especially at this point of the game. 
Yeah, and considering you don't have necessarily like the hardest of CCs, it would take Pop to use pretty much his full combo on the Kassadin. And even then, he's just going to have a Rift Walk in after a couple seconds to get himself to safety. And that Kassadin now is kind of the focal point when we take a look toward HKA and them coming back into this game. He's now hit that level 16 mark, fully stacked his Seraphs, and he's starting to work toward his fifth and uh, his sixth item, actually, as he's fully stacked as well. The Roa, uh, the Kassadin has come online. I, I would be worried for Nova Esports uh, at the moment, um, but now that I see it, Rocky does have at least you know, stopwatch. I see a lot of the uh, tanky champions, uh, Jarvan and uh, Pop and Morse especially, have a couple of magic resist at least, as well as Mix Cross. Um, we're the edge of night, so at least you have something, you have that going on for yourself. But now Baron has spawned. This could be another fight could, that could determine another swing, either for HKA's favor or for Nova's favor. We'll see. It's going to be HKA getting the push here in mid lane. You start to see gold starting to stabilize a little bit. HKA have been able to stop the bleeding. It's no longer diving down into the depths of the ocean. It was a 7,000 gold lead at one point, but now only separated by 3,000 as Nova look to position themselves around the Baron, try and get HK to be the ones that check over on this side of the map, make the first move, and try and find a mistake. And HK, their response? Okay, G4, is he going in? Looks like that's gonna be a no. Yeah, the response for HK is definitely trying to shove this wave, um, especially there is a wave building at bot side um, for Nova Esports. Oh, I'm scared well. for Hollow, actually. <laughs> I think he wants this. He's going to actually avoid the flag drag. He's wasting a lot of Nova's time here at this point. You can see them, though, lurking within the darkness along the river. Ryan finds himself a knockup, a little bit of damage back on over there. G4 has to back off as the Glacier Prison was used. Pop going to use his ultimate, able to root up a couple members of HK. Cannon Barrage was over there. Jimin in over towards the side. He tried to go for the flank. He ends up getting stamped, stunned up into the Cataclysm, gets himself to safety. Bullet time comes back on down. A decent amount of damage calling now comes down from Rocky. And finally, the first fatality of the game uh, going down as Wing able to only survive a little longer. And that fight only results in the one support being lost here by HK. Oh, and this is perfect timing for Nova Esports too. All now that they have the choice to either just break mid lane, and this is just going to damage Nova Esports control over the map a little bit more. And uh, for HK, I suppose uh, they will be satisfied with that. Did did Holo die? Yeah, he just died. He just died. <laughs> <laughs> so they're able to track down the Sejuani as they headed down toward the bot side of the map. That's going to be two members taken down of HK in the very end. Uh, let's take another look here because Jimmy was trying to get really fancy on the flank, uh, but then Ryan caught him out. Yeah, Ryan spotted out Jimin over here and really blocked, basically blocked the back line so he couldn't really penetrate. So once he rift walked forward, that was definitely the go signal for Nova Esports to just go in. Bullet time only hit the tank, so it wasn't the most effective bullet time. But I, I, I understand the logic because they were trapped in the Cataclysm. Um, but Holo, Holo was spotted earlier and uh, because of that, it's good 40 seconds earlier that the jungler was not around and or a dragon goes to Dragon Solo to Nova. That means Elder Drake, though, in five minutes. I'll join. So primary is going to be over toward the Baron as Nova can walk back up toward the river. And it seems their game plan is quite simple. Try and deny as much vision as possible away from Hong Kong Attitude and force Hong Kong Attitude to have to come into these river choke points. Be afraid that the fact that Pop will lay down one of his ultimates and pretty much deny your team from advancing. And it's quite smart too, coming from HK. The response would always be just shove the wave. So Nova Esports is, you know, forced to come out. They are going to be smoked out. But now Nova starting this Baron, HKA. What's, uh, what's your move now? That Lucian can tear him apart pretty fast over toward the side. Hollow wants to try and jump back on in. Going to use his ultimate. Cannon Barrage was also there. Pop is going to be soaking up a decent amount of the CC. Bullet time comes on out. Wing gets taken on down. Cataclysm now on top of 3Z and Hollow. They got nowhere to run. 
and Nova just like that. A beautiful Glacial what? Prison coming out from G4 as they shut down the Misfortune. Jimnian trying to run over toward the side, able to rift walk away, but the call from Nova should be to just go for the base as they've taken down four members of Hong Kong Attitude. There's still two people chasing Jimian at the moment, but I think it's going to be satisfactory that you have, you know, the Lucian and the Seno now pushing, now shoving the base of HK. That's 30 seconds on the clock, more or less, for everybody else to come back online. And like that, They're still chasing. Jimian at least is trying to delay what he can, but the main damage dealers are already knocking down the base. And like that, Nova are able to look and tie up the one-to-one -one record against Hong Kong Attitude and keep their playoff hopes alive here in spring. That was an amazing game from coming from Nova Esports. I think that was my favorite game um, from this team so far. And the early game dives, the confidence, and the way that they, you know, play around these 5v5s against HEAA, I, I am impressed. Yeah, especially like the early game. We have not seen Nova be so aggressive the entirety of spring since they've entered the league. We saw one or two, we've seen one little instances here or there. You know, maybe Ryan gets aggressive in the game as a jungler and invades a couple times. Maybe they put Rocky on something like a Kalissa. This time around though, we saw pretty much every lane get aggressive, look for roams and dive, dive over and over again, trying to shut down HK. I think the best part about this game in particular is the way that P the, everyone from the PCS, or most of the time, most of the games would actually play topside and get, get Rift, Rift Herald and then funnel it to your early game champion at the top side of the map. But now it seems to me that they can play this game too. They can play at bot side and just as you mentioned, just involve everybody else from the team. Yeah, and on top of that too, for HKA now, it's a real big concern for them heading toward the playoffs as we only have three more days left of uh, regular season play for them after today, where the big factor of they still have to play against AHQ, they still have to play against Town, they still have to play against Machi. This was a game that they were expected to win, so we'll go ahead and take another look here at the final fight. Yeah, I want to take a look at this again. The bullet time um, only hit, I think, G4, and at that time, he was on stopwatch, and this is just perfect. The channel of the root came towards the flash cleanse, and therefore, still no escape whatsoever for the AD carry, for Eminem. And that was just beautiful by Nova Esports. It was just a different Nova, but it's like, I, I love I love this team. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame them. Like that, Nova are able to take home the victory over Hong Kong Attitude. Take a look at those damage numbers. Rocky coming up huge with 21,000 damage and a really good game. Oh, Lucian, I like the fact that we're seeing more from Rocky other than just, you know, the Renekton. Renekton. <laughs> you know, we're actually seeing other carries, other, you know, ranged carries that he can start showing up in the top lane with and causing havoc and being a carry threat uh, other than just being, you know, that in-your-face style that we've seen him from him time and time again. And because of that, we've seen how flexible uh, Rocky is, the top side of the map, and a lot of the teams are banning Kalista, are actually, you know, a lot of respect ban towards Rocky at the top side. And even though, let's just say you ban Lucian or Kalista, he will probably come up with other things, like probably a Vayne top or maybe a Quinn top at the end okay, of the day. Okay, let's not get too crazy <laughs> there, you know? I, I, I mean, we're seeing a lot of firsts at tw two times on this game. First Lucian, first Maokai in, uh, on the support role. So I, I have high expectations. Yeah, you know, maybe Warlock, he found the secret to his uh, concoction when it comes to this Nova squad. Uh, and hopefully this is a much needed morale boost to continue uh, their streak toward the playoffs as the MVP is going to go on over to Ryan on the Jarvan. Well-deserved MVP uh, really dictated the pace of the game for the early parts. And that four-man dive really snowballed not only their confidence, but their state in the game to take on more confident team fights against HKA. So props, props to Ryan. And uh, on top of that, too, I wanted to highlight G4, especially on the Silas this time around. Had some really good roams early on. Still, though, we have seen 
a questionable play or two come out from him. This was again that the one time where he just walked up into with the Silas and was like, "Hey, you know, I'm a Silas. I can, I can do this. Nothing could possibly go wrong." <laughs> and then he just gets you know one shot pretty much from like 1500 health. So there's still a little bit of inconsistency here and there when it comes to this Nova squad, but I think this is a much needed sign of life from them. And it's very impressive uh, the way that they. They grew from the first round Robin coming into the PCS. They um, they really evolved, and I feel like if they keep doing this, you know, the teams like especially HQ, you know, Talon, and the other teams, the former LMS squad, should really be careful once they come against Nova East. Yeah. Well, for now, we're gonna go ahead and take a short break. When we come back, though, it's gonna be our second game of the day. Alpha taking on Machi. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. 